Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. Today we got a 07 and a half Duramax. This thing's got 10 inches of lift, 12 wides, 40s. Let's go. Hey, Hey guys, like I said, today we got Austin's 07 and a half uh, Silverado 2500 HD Duramax. This thing is just built to the hilt. It's an 07 and a half, like I said, but it's only got like 50,000 miles. So this thing is just awesome. It's got 10 inches of bulletproof lift and that kit basically comes with the shock hoops, the Fox shocks. In the rear, it's got the Atlas leaf packs in it. It's got Fox in the rear. So basically that suspension is just done, done up front to back. And this thing is just a monster. I'm not a super short guy, probably about 5'10". Can almost walk underneath the mirrors on this. For wheels, he's got the 22 by 12, and this is the one we just brought you in that um, hot and new. It's that XD820 Grenade. And you can see on 12 wide, remember we talked about the big lip on this wheel. You're talking a full six inch lip on a 12 wide, which is typically what we're always looking for out of a 12 wide for a deep lip wheel. And you can see on this one, he's got, it's got the milled edges. So if you remember this wheel, it comes with um, all black or you can do the milled edges in the black um, finishes. So with the, I think he's got a ranch hand. Yeah, with the ranch hand front bumper on this, you can see that with 40s and the tires are the 40 by 15 and a half. So 40 tall, 15 and a half wide. You can see that gives you ton, tons of sidewall on a 12 inch wide wheel. And then it looks like he had to do some trimming up here to clear those 40s. And it looks like they did just a little bit of pushback on the back, Junior. If you look, it doesn't look like they cut any. It looks like they just did a good old fashioned smash it back and throw a screw in there to pull that um, inner liner away so that he can get a full crank out of it. So, like I said, massive truck. It's about yay big. Smoked out haloed front headlights. Did a 32 inch light bar up inside the ranch hand. And if you look inside there, he's got the five inch round LED fogs tucked inside that ranch hand. Banner up on the front windshield. Side windows running about 15%. Big, 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 big truck. Amp research steps, otherwise I don't think you'd ever get in there. So he's got the flip down power steps for hopping up. It's a beast, it's a Duramax. It's got 10 inches of lift. It's got 40s. These are the, um, just take a second. These are the Dakar Merck Ma tires. We sell a pile of these. I've actually never run them. They're down there in the competitive price range of the Carajas and the Aturos and that. Um, compared to Toyos and Nettos, it's a humongous savings to go with this tire. He's got about 4,000 miles and he said it rides great, um, especially for the amount of money he saved. And kind of what I've been telling people, I get this question probably three times a week, is if you're trying to save money and you're not going to stay in a wheel and tire setup forever, if you're going to run it for a year or two, I see a lot of guys running um, the lower cost tires because they're never going to hit the 35, 40,000 miles anyways, and they're just going to end up flipping it. So to buy a super expensive tire isn't worth it for them because they're never going to get the miles anyways. So I see a lot of guys running this style tire um, or the Aturos or the Federals, the Carajas and you know pick your poison it, you basically you get what you pay for but if you're not going to stay in it but for a year or two and never get anywhere near 35 40 000 miles it makes total sense to most guys because then you can get a 22 instead of a 20 or something like that or get yourself a 10 inch bulletproof with the extra money so that's pretty much it like i said this thing's a beast um we're gonna keep bringing them remember subscribe to us youtube.com custom offsets and we're gonna spotlight up spotlight up spotlight spotlight peace